Dell XPS 15 9550 Review, Performance Given that the Dell XPS 15 is fairly slim and light for a 15-inch laptop, it's a little surprising that it uses an HQ series processor rather than the U-kind we normally see on portable-friendly models. The base model has an Intel Core i5-6300HQ. While not the top-end brain you will see in the more expensive XPS 15 models, it's still designed to eat up more power and run hotter than the U-series chipsets you will see. U-series chipsets are designed to use just one 5W, but this one's thermal load is for 5W. Being happy to suck up more power lets these HQ chipsets push much harder, but it naturally means they're less power efficient and need a more serious cooling system. As with pretty much any HQ equipped laptop, the Dell XPS 15 CPU fan runs all the time. It's a very light word, but if you dream of a totally silent laptop, this is not it. If that's a top priority, be sure to check out an Intel Core M laptop like the ASUS UX305, reviewed. It doesn't use a fan at all. Using a hybrid hard drive rather than a pricier SSD, our particular review model also emits the light clicks when writing data, common to all hard drives. And it occasionally makes mysterious louder ones too, we're not entirely sure why. There's nothing magical going on in a hybrid hard drive, though. It gets you 1 TB storage, but has an extra 3 2 GB SSD attached, used as a cache to increase performance beyond that of a regular mechanical hard drive. It works, but still doesn't quite seem to get you the instant zippiness of a pure SSD system. Powering up and coming back from standby is quick, but not near instantaneous. The Crystal Disk Mark benchmark results show that it's no replacement for an SSD too. While red speeds reach up to an SSD like 475 MB s, write speeds are around 70-80 MB s. That's the performance of a box standard 5400 RPM hard drive, not an SSD. This base spec isn't really designed for the most demanding of buyers, though. While it uses an Intel HQ series CPU, it's still a Core i5 rather than an i7, a quad-core i5-6300HQ 2.3 GHz. Of course, when paired up with 8 GB RAM you still have enough power on tap to do virtually anything. Fairly serious video editing, involved Photoshop work and audio sequencing are not beyond its abilities, and you'd expect this north of a grand. The mid-grade spec leaves it with very solid middle-ranking benchmark results. For example, in Geekbench 3 it scores 9,808, 3,165 single-core points. The Intel Core i7 versions will, naturally, score much higher, but it's still much better than what you get from the dual-core U alternative. That CPU scores 5,500 to 6,000 in the XPS 13, a pretty dramatic difference. It is what's common to all versions of the Dell XPS 15 we really need to take into account, though, the discrete NVIDIA GeForce GT 960M graphics card. This is a fairly good card, and one that doesn't demand the ultra-loud fans and heat vents that gamer-specific GeForce GT 980M systems tend to have. For those with a bit of knowledge about graphics card families, you do need to consider the laptop tax when it comes to mobile GPUs, though. This spec is good enough to play recent games, including top-tier games like The Witcher 3 and Fallout 4. However, to play at the native 1080p resolution you will need to watch settings carefully. For example, in The Witcher 3 we needed to drop down to medium settings and switch off performance sapping effects like Nvidia Hairworks to reach a reasonable frame rate. Compared to full-fat desktop CPUs, the GT980M is really closer to the NVIDIA GDX 750 than this card's desktop namesake, the higher-end GDX 960. As with the CPU, it's all about the sort of hardware you can fit into a laptop shell without generating loads of heat. The Dell XPS 15 is a laptop for people who want to play games, but not one for hardcore gamers. If that's your priority you can do better for £1,000. See our roundup of best gaming laptops, for example. That said, 
we were fairly impressed with how the performance scales away from the charger. The GT960M GPU isn't simply switched off as soon as you unplug. You can happily game on the train with the XPS 15, and you can naturally fiddle with the performance settings to favor stamina or performance. It's also very good at managing heat. While the fans run constantly, they don't become annoyingly loud even when the system is working flat out. We also experienced none of the odd fan revving we heard when reviewing the XPS 13. It's not engineered for silence, but it is well engineered.